Hi friends, what's up? This is our K from 360 Reader. Right now, I'm going to talk about the best tips and tricks to fix screen saving not working issue in FaceTime on iPhone and iPad. So just in case you are trying to save screen using FaceTime on your iOS or iPad OS device and it just doesn't seem to work, you have arrived at the right place to sort out the problem. That all being said, let's cut the chase. Before getting started, make sure you have subscribed our YouTube channel and hit the bell icon so that you won't miss any update from 360 Reader. First and foremost, make sure the apps are compatible for screen saving. As of now, only a handful of apps allow screen saving with FaceTime, therefore, you must check it out. From what I can tell, as of now, only a few stock apps support screen saving in FaceTime. For example, you can use screen saving in Apple Notes app, Apple Mail, iMovie, EDC. It's worth pointing out that screen saving works only within Apple devices. For instance, you can share screen using FaceTime only with someone who owns iPhone, iPad or Mac. And if you want to share screen with someone who owns Android device, you are out of luck. That means you can't share screen from iDevice to someone who uses Android device. If screen saving is not working even after you have taken care of all the basic requirements, then I would recommend you to hard reset Aka force restart your device. To force restart your iPhone 8 or later or iPad without home button, you have to press and quickly release the volume up button, then you have to press and quickly release the volume down button, then you have to hold down the side button or top button until you see the Apple logo on the screen. If you want to force restart iPhone 7 or 7 Plus, you have to hold down the volume down button and side button at once. And if you want to force restart iPhone 6S or iPad with home button, you have to hold down the home button and the power button at once until Apple logo shows up on the screen. Once your device has restarted, try to share screen using FaceTime with supported apps to see if the problem is gone. If it has, then you are good to go. If you still can't share screen using FaceTime, then I would recommend you to reset all settings. Don't worry, it won't delete any media or data. It will only wipe out all the existing settings including Wi-Fi and VPN on your iOS or iPad OS device. To get going, simply launch Settings app on your device and then tap on General. Now you have to scroll down to the bottom and hit Transfer or Reset iPhone. Then you have to tap Reset and then you have to choose Reset all settings in the pop-up to confirm the action. If none of the tricks has worked in fixing the screen sharing issue in FaceTime, then I would recommend you to update your device. Yeah, you got that right. More often than not, software update fixes random issues that seem to crop up out of nowhere. Therefore, make sure to update your device to get it and simply launch the settings app on your iPhone or iPad. Then tap on general. Now you have to tap on software update and finally download and install the latest version of iOS 15 or iPad OS 15 as usual. That's all there is to it. Hopefully, you have successfully fixed the screen sharing issue on your iOS or iPad OS device. Now that you have successfully fixed the screen saving issue in FaceTime, now go ahead and enjoy video calling to your house liking. Of course, if you have found any other solution of fixing this problem, make sure to let me know that as well. And I'll see you in the next video with more such handy tips and tricks. Till then, stay safe and have a great time. Bye-bye.